Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to the Noob Gaming YouTube channel. I am Adam and this is Train Simulator 2014 Steam Edition. You may have noticed a pattern here, I do quite like playing Train Simulators. Um, my last video, my last game on this channel, was my first video, but also my last video, <laughs> um, was um, the London Underground Simulator World of Subways 3. Um, this is pretty much the same thing, but uh, with different settings, different trains, and different ways of, of controlling those trains. And these trains are a lot faster as well, I've noticed. This train simulator also features um, cargo trains, not just passenger trains, but cargo ones as well, and steam trains, and it's just really, really, really comprehensive in terms of the trains and where they're set. They're actually really, really well done. Physics are also fantastic, but audio isn't really the best. Can't always win, can you? Right. Let's just not fuss about with all these menus and let's just drive. Let's just drive a train. Now, a disclaimer: I have played this game before. I do know the menu system. I don't. I do know the penalties. I know how things work, and I do have a mild sense of you know how to drive these trains. I'm not completely new to it, but we'll just pick one of those pre-selected route routes. Um, we'll just do this ice tube and ice cool morning. See what they've done there. <laughs> From Hamburg to Hanover. Um, is this in Germany? I do think it is. It's a DB. Yeah, yeah. DB is a Gen German train locomotive company. DB Intercity Express 2402. Hamburg to Hanover for 25 minutes with three stars of difficulty. Let's go. Bring an ice tube into service. Really. Right, now the loading screen is just filled with advertisements. There is a lot of DLC available for this game. Like thousands and thousands of dollars worth of DLC. They're just billions of trains. Some trains which I'm convinced don't actually exist in the real world, but they do obviously in this game, and you can actually pay for them with real money. Things that I'm not willing to do. Um, but I do think that I did pick this up when I was on sale during the summer sale. Love Steam sales. I've only actually bought around four games and played like two. That is the main ethos of a Steam sale, I'm convinced. This loading screen is actually taking a while. Come on, yes, I know. Blah blah blah, Steam Workshop, blah blah blah. Top tips. Oh, come on. <gasps> You're not making this easy. Oh, here we go. This morning you were tasked with collecting passages at Hanover. Have to be enough Glee 7, where you will then continue your journey to Chell to complete your work for this morning. Righto. Um, do I pick up passengers here? No, I don't think so. Nah. Righto. Let's hop into the cab. Look at this super high tech, like 10 billion screens. Uh, this lever uh, controls your brake. The black lever, sorry, you may not be able to see my cursor. I do apologize for that. Uh, the black lever down the bottom, with 70% written on, is your brake. The blue one is your um, sort of forwards or backwards, up and down like this, like so. Let's just do forwards. And this red bar controls your acceleration. So let's put the brake off and let's get going. Right over, so, <laughs> right, oh, Hanover HBF Glee 7. Whatever that is, I do feel sorry for you Germans if those are your station names. Um, is in three kilometers, well just under three kilometers, and I should arrive there in approximately four or so minutes. My speed limit is currently 40, however we will speed up to 60. But I'm not sure if these are kilometers an hour or miles an hour, I'm not too sure they do seem to depend on what country you're in. I don't even know what the system the Germans use. Acceleration way that I am speaking right now, and I'm getting penalized for it. This game does actually give you penalties for a lot of things. Um, speeding, it gives you penalties for that, it gives you penalties for, um, um, what is it? If you're late, it gives you one for that. It gives you one if you haven't got the uh, lights on or something, if it's night time, it gives you a penalty if you're, um, Customers aren't really comfortable if you speed up or brake too quickly. 
um, or go around a bend too quickly, it does charge you quite badly for that. Um, the way it sort of measures whether or not people are comfortable is that little target looking thing at the bottom left hand corner that that represents a sort of a person si sitting in one of the carriages on the train and you speed up or slow down that reflects on the screen they lean forward or backwards or left or right and the green section essentially means you're all right yellow means oh, you should be cautious now man and the red begins getting penalties for uh, righto so my will not speed up to 110 yet, but I'll slow right back down to 60 again. Really no point. I actually pop on the brakes a little. I'm gonna go down to 60 and then down to 40 and then stop at Hanover. Okay, so here we go. <sighs> Wipers on, it's kind of snowy, but let's see. Look, it's not actually the best graphics in the world, I have seen better. Um, can switch views with this. It's, it's actually quite nice, quite pretty. There, there is a snow everywhere, so it's white and washed out. Putrid, but I'm sure if the setting was a little nicer, or I'd speak again. I'm sure if the setting, if the weather was nicer, it would just look better in general. See, that is quite a harsh punishment for speeding. I was going over the 40 miles an hour speed limit because I was busy, too busy taking a look at the buildings and the disgusting sky which is actually really quite disgusting, it's purple and not blue but you know it might be different in Germany over there, they might you know have, live in a different world shall we say I am approaching Hanover HBF Glee Gleis 7, I'm not actually too sure about that and look millions of them it's like an ant colony Tracks. Okay, so we are approaching a twisty and turny section here of the train tracks just to get us here on the right platform. Because this is a train there is really no no steering involved, you don't really need too much coordination other than for judging how much you need to break when you're approaching a station and have to stop in time. Which I am about to do now. This is actually quite a long station compared to the stations that they have in um, the UK, those are really, really short. They're actually quite a pain because if you have a really long train, you can only have like half the train or so actually on the platform, and it actually just takes up more time as people have to walk to the open doors, etc. etc. Righto, that bottom thing, that thingy, right now, let's turn the brake all the way up and slow right down. Switch to the outside view. Whoa, glitchy glitch. And open our doors. Hey, it works. And people have suddenly just faded in from uh, thin air. Wonderful. Uh, we are 8 minutes and 23 seconds into the video, and we've just arrived at our first station. Pardon me, that was disgusting. And that red bar above the station name of Hanover, HBF Glee 7, next to that target thing displays how long we have to be at the station for. You don't actually get to decide whether or not you open or shut the doors manually. Well, you do open the doors manually, but they shut after a specific preset time that you have to be at the station for. Um, what else is there to say? Uh, that timeline down the bottom, that essentially gives you, not a bird's eye look, but from the side, if you're good at geometry at school, if you were good at geometry at school, that that would explain that quite well for you. That displays the next station, how long the station is, whether there's a there's a decline or a descent, a slope, if you will, down the track that that'll affect your acceleration stuffs. You know the graphics aren't that great. I have got the settings all the way up to ultra, but I do believe my computer is actually quite nice with this kind of thing. But the textures are still quite ugh. like it's just plain shapes. It's actually quite boring. Pardon me. Sorry. Um, it does give you real brand names. DB there is an actual 
train name. Not sure if Ice is a real name or whether or not in real life Ice is written on just that large normally. Um, but yeah, this is actually quite a nice simulator. The physics are great, the sounds are so so, but everything else is alright. The textures are acceptable for how much the game was. And you can actually get this on Steam, unlike Train Simulator. I mean, sorry, um, London Underground Simulator, which you can't, which is an issue. Alrighty, then. We are approaching the end of this grueling wait at this station. Come on. Oh, that's Successful stop. Now move on to the driver's cabin at the end of the train and proceed north to Chelly. How do I do that? Did that do it? Was I... Oh. Ah! That was easy. With my magical driver teleportation skills. Right, so I just have to... Just go back, I presume? Right, it's not yelling at me yet. Alright, all seems good. Um, Chelly Glee 5 is in 41 kilometers. 17 minutes, and I doubt, highly doubt, highly doubt that you want to watch me just sit in here and talk, talk and talk and talk for 17 minutes without having to stop at the station. Um, I do think this game is quite a lot more boring compared to London Underground. Because London Underground, you actually have something to do. It's like station, 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 station. Like two seconds apart from each other. However, this is, is just a little bit to the next station. Really not what I was hoping for for this particular route. It's not that interesting for you people to watch, but I might just cut the video. Or something. I don't know. Just what we are able to speed up to 110 kilometers slash miles an hour. Not too sure. <laughs> I presume it, it would be kilometers because 110 miles an hour is actually quite fast. But then again, this train is the fastest train in the game. Not including the other um, uh, Let me speed up to one that when you're allowed when the speed limit goes up it actually takes a while for it to register in the train cabin um possibly just for safety reasons i don't know i know so this is boring now welcome to the land of boar it actually does sound like a polish city or a russian one maybe i don't know but it definitely does sound like boar the island now I'm just sitting here, I'm not actually touching anything on my mouse, anything on my keyboard. I'm just sitting here, waiting. Cinematic, when the number four on my numpad switches me to this kind of cinematic display. Who's been the person who touches the humanity in all of us? This beautiful sort of. This is actually quite tedious, quite boring, and there's a train that can always work out the same train. Good job, train simulator 2014. You are fantastic. I like you aren't. Number five brings us to a passenger view. <gasps> there's I don't know what is sitting next to each other. Oh, opposite from each other. I think they're in a fight. Look at this. They're, this one was probably sitting here, you know, playing chess, and then she beat her, and then she's like, no, I don't want to play chess with you anymore on this train. 
you can sit over here and now they're both upset. Look at their eyes. Look at them. Whoops. Yeah, you can obviously tell she's been crying. Both of them, in fact, have just been crying. Yep, that is actually quite obvious that they've been in a fight. This man looks quite unsettled. His leg is out in the hall, which is which does present quite a safety issue. And that woman there is playing Candy Crush on her mobile phone. These luggage spaces, really well lit. There's this nice wood grain. Can I change seats? I don't want to sit here. No, I don't think so. Number six brings me to this, which I'm not particularly interested in. Seven brings me to a bird's eye view, as I was talking about later, and gives you a kind of. Oh, all the lights turned off just then. Did you see that? Perhaps they've turned it off because it's the morning now. But it gives you a view of the of the city and how much free space they haven't civilized civilized yet. Civilized? Civilized yet. Um, sheds, etc., etc. Just in the fields, getting snowed on. Snowed on. I'm gonna call my kid snowed on. Edward Snowden. <gasps> it all connects. Right. So my speed limit is now 160, and everything is quiet because I'm all the way up here in the sky. This is pretty much just a static view, whereas this one follows it, this one doesn't. Number nine brings me to a tube map. A map of this system, which doesn't look all too efficient, look at it. Ugh. Wouldn't want to live here, let's go back. And pop right into my carriage again. Um, yes, so there is still 12 minutes to arriving at the station, which will make this video another half an hour episode. Should I just end it here? I'll just stop at Langen Hagen Mitte Glee 1, even though I'm not supposed to. And we'll just end it here there. Yes, okay, that's pretty much the same thing, whether or not we get to Silly Glee 5 channel. It's probably channel. Right down if we actually want to stop it. Langenhagen. Sounds like an IKEA plot product. Langenhagen. It is actually taking a while for me to slow down. Whoa! That is loud. If you hear that, sorry. If you don't, just ignore me. You probably can hear that actually. It is quite loud. You can hear that drilling quite badly. I do apologize. I do apologize. I think I have to end. Alright, is there an emergency stop here? Well, not the safest thing in the world. It takes like 48 nautical miles from when you actually slam on the brakes. Alright, thank you very, very much for watching this episode of Train Simulator 2014. My name is Adam. I am part of the Noob Gaming YouTube channel team. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and leave me any questions, comments, or suggestions in the comment section below, or PM us here at YouTube. Again, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, everyone, and I'll catch you guys next time.